Hello everyone, I'm Laura Barat from lauraboratastrologer.com and I'm a Tropical Vedic Astrologer and Cards of Truth reader. If you're interested in those services, please visit my website at lauraboratastrologer.com. Okay, so today I am discussing the Vargas or the divisional charts and uh, the deeper meanings of them and what certain planets mean or produce in these Vargas. This is a very important aspect of Vedic astrology because the Vargas or divisional charts or the harmonic charts as they're known in Western astrology are, um, are very important. They're the meat and potatoes of Vedic astrology. They really get, uh, get you to make some very specific predictions and, um, and if with a different timing system. So, um, so I hope you'll enjoy this. It's going to get a little bit in depth, but um, I know people love to learn about these things, especially the Vargas. I don't think there is enough out there right now that explain the Vargas uh, extensively. So that's what I'm going to do. And today we're discussing the Rashi chart or the D1, the regular birth chart as it's known. And, um, and the Karaka or the main planet for this chart is the sun because it is the first planet. It's number one. And, um, and in the day or the Rashi chart is the first chart. It's D1. So the most important planet in this chart is the sun. Of course, all of the planets are important. You can do a reading with just the birth chart and all of the planets and all of the house cusps in that chart. But uh, overall, the sun becomes very important for this chart because the sun rules the health and the body, as does the ascendant. And the, the house cusps also rule specific things as well, which I will talk about in a, a different video series. But I'm concentrating mainly on the planets in in this series for um, delving more deeply into the Vargas and, and divisional charts. So, um, so okay, okay, so the sun. So the sun, what, what does it produce in the Rashi chart? Because planets are known as Karakas, which means producers. So all of the planets produce something. They produce specific things in specific charts. And planets are also known as Bava Lords or, um, or House Lords. They rule houses. So, so in this instance, in this, in, these vi is, in this video series, I'm talking about planets as Karakas and what they produce naturally. And, um, in the Rashi chart, in the D1 chart, the planets produce all of their indications in a general sense. There are some planets that produce specific things in the Rashi chart that they do not produce anywhere else in any other Varga. But in a general sense, all the planets produce something in that Rashi chart. For example, Venus produces the wife or girlfriend Jupiter, Jupiter produces children and the husband for a woman. Uh, Mars produces si siblings and so on. And it, these planets produce those things in a general sense, all of these things, all of their indications um, in, the, in the D1. But when we start getting into more specific Vargas, then they produce those things very specifically in that Varga. For example, Mars will produce your siblings very specifically in the D3 or Drekana chart. Uh, the Sun and Saturn will pr produce your career, different aspects of your career, more specifically in the D10 or Dashamsha. But the Sun also produces career uh, in the in the Rashi chart, but it's very general. You, you can't really um, get a lot of info or really specific information about that just looking at the Rashi chart and in the sun too. Okay. And then there's, there's two types of Karakas or producers. There's Nysargika, Nysargika 
nice I can't pronounce this. It's one of the worst words I have a problem with. Okay, it's Nysargika Caracas, which mean natural producers, natural natural Caracas. That's what I'm discussing today. Um, they produce these things for every person, okay? For every person on planet Earth. The sun produces the government and the body of the father. The moon produces the mother. Um, <clears throat> Mars produces siblings. Mercury produces friends. All That's across the board, everyone on planet Earth. Then you have Chara Caracas. Chara Caracas are uh, um, changeable producers. And they are specific to your time of birth and when you were born. And they're different for every individual. So today we're, we're talking about the um, common or natural Caracas producers, which are... Um, which are the sun through Saturn, Rahu and K2, and they produce these things for everyone. In, uh, so in the Rashi chart, the sun specifically produces the body and the health, your vitality, your, your um, well, not your vitality, but your, your uh, overall health and energy and um, your immunity to disease and things like that your skeleton because the sun is the foundation so the sun rules the skeleton and um, a lot of these things that are produced specifically in the d1 or the rashi chart can be specifically produced as well in the d30 or the trim shamsha which is the chart of health okay both of these charts the d1 and the trim shamsha bear heavily on a person's health and um, their energy level and things like that. With a D30 or the Trim Sham Show, you start getting really a lot more specific with a person's health, okay? So the sun produces the body, the health, and the government, specifically for the D1. And, um, and so the moon, the moon produces the self or the ego, uh, or the sense mind in the sense that um, and the individuality because the moon is a planet that revolves around the earth so the moon is a very worldly planet it's a planet that we use to interact with other people it's our individuality it's all of our reactions to things and um, our ingrained reactions according to our karmas or our sanskaras it's our um, our emotional state and um, and how we perceive things and that's basically who an individual is on planet Earth. They use their moon very a lot more than they use the sun in a lot of ways because um, getting involved with worldly things, people, businesses, uh, affairs, whatever it is that we're involved with on the earth, we, we're always using our moon. We're always taking in information and reacting to that information. So the moon rules the ego in that sense and, and the sense of self, the idea, our own idea of who we are. Okay, that's the moon. And the moon also rules the face. Okay, so um, along with the second second house cusp and the sign of Taurus. The moon is exalted in Taurus, so the moon rules the face, okay? Then Mars. Mars in the Rashi chart specifically rules exercise, accidents, and surgery, okay? Mercury rules cognizance. And um, what that is, cognizance in the sense of how our senses distribute and um, or discriminate with the information that they're receiving. Mercury rules the senses in general, like over overall. And um, all of the, uh, like the sense of smell, the sense of sight, um, the sense of touch, in general, that's what Mercury rules, all of the senses together. And then under that specifically, specific planets rule senses. And I have an article on this on my website if you're interested. But um, 
But Mercury, some people do not sense things correctly. Like some people are colorblind. Some people hear, don't hear quite as well. And the information that they are perceiving isn't pure or isn't correct or doesn't conform to the societal norm, if you will. Okay, so that's what Mercury rules. He rules the senses in, in, that, in that way. And then, um, and then Mercury rules speech. He rules apprenticeships. He rules being an apprentice or a trainee. He rules um, your relatives, not your immediate family, but like your aunts and uncles, your cousins, um, your second cousins, all of those, all of those people, right? Your extended family, and um, and he rules uh, business partners. So that's what Mercury specifically rules in the Rashi chart. Then you have Jupiter. Now Jupiter in a general sense rules everything all of his indications in the d1 or rashi chart meaning he rules religion he rules children the husband he rules higher education you know getting going to university or getting a phd and um and uh, all of those things that jupiter rules your guru your spiritual mentor and um but then when you start getting into the more the higher vargas he rules a lot more specific things but um but jupiter rules in a general sense all of these things in the rashi chart and he doesn't rule anything very specific only in the rashi chart all right um now venus venus rules food the food you eat uh like the sign of taurus and Venus rules in the Rashi chart hospitals and nursing homes specifically, and also what they call virya, which means vitality. It means um, the ability to come back from something or heal, the ability to heal, and the, the ability to, uh, when you've exerted a lot of energy as you do an exercise, which is ruled by Mars, it rules the ability to come back from that or to recuperate and recover from physical exertion or any types of wounds or illness. That's what Venus rules. And that's why Venus is so important in athlete charts. They make for a very good athlete because you can recuperate really quickly. Some people, they put a lot of exertion into something, running, bicycling, swimming, whatever it is, but it takes them a lot longer to recover than people who have really strong Venuses. Okay. Um, and then in, in that, those are all remember specific things. Venus will rule everything in there in a general sense, all of the things that he naturally rules, but those are very specific to the Rashi chart. Okay. Then, um, Saturn, Saturn rules our servants or and people really don't, I mean, not, not in the West really, but in other, in other countries, they still have servants. Um, but, and I guess the Royal family in Britain has servants, but, um, servants are people who are working for you, people who you hire to do a job for you, like the roofers or plumbers, or, you know, people who need to dig a septic system out in your yard. Those are all considered to be servants. Okay, and that's what Saturn rules specifically for the Rashi chart, along with longevity. Saturn rules longevity. He rules livestock, not pets, but livestock. And the reason he rules livestock is because um, we, we have to spend money to take care of them. We have to take a lot. There, you have to do a lot of work to take care of animals. Anybody who's lived on a farm and... Um, raised livestock knows how much work it takes to raise animals. Um, so, and then, you know, you have to get rid of all their poop and, and, uh, feed them all the time and, uh, make sure, you know, when they get sick, they get the proper care and all of that kind of stuff. So, um, so that's ruled by Saturn. And then, um, Saturn also rules prison in the Rashi chart specifically and illness or sickness. 
Now, illness and sickness is another thing that, that Saturn also rules in the D30 or the Trimshamsha. And Saturn is a very important planet for health in that D1 and the D30 or Trimshamsha. Okay, and then in um, uh, Rahu. So Rahu also, like all the planets, rules quite a few things, but specifically in the Rashi chart, he rules drugs, all kinds of drugs, prescription drugs, illegal drugs, drugs, you know, entheogens, um, just all kinds of drugs, okay? And he also rules uh, cheaters, people who cheat in all capacities, you know, anything considered to be cheating on tests, you know, and relationships. That's what Rahu rules in the Rashi chart. And he also rules technology in the Rashi chart. So, um, so yeah, that's Rahu for the Rashi chart specifically. And then you have K2. K2 only rules uh, two things in the Rashi chart, and that is thieves, people who steal, and, um, and also uh, epidemics. K2 rules epidemics, which is kind of important because right now we have, it's the age of epidemics, and um, right we have this co coronavirus going on right now, and that is ruled by K2. And there was, uh, you know, a strong K2, Saturn, Pluto lineup in the sign of Capricorn just really recently, and that kind of set in motion some of the things that uh, the epidemics happening right now. Okay, so that is the... Um, the video for the Vargas going more in depth into the Vargas. The next videos I'm going to talk about the Hora chart or the D2, which is also used in Western astrology for you Western astrologers and uh, the Drekana, the Chapter Tamsha, the D4. And I'll, I'll explain uh, what all of those charts mean and uh, what they produce in the, in the strongest planets or the Caracas of those charts, the, the Caracas for those Vargas. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.